so let's get this cleaned off here. Use a oh, very clean. All right, this machine right here got a uh, supposed slipping transmission. Start it up. See what she does. They said the trans slipped, so they had to push it over here. Let's see if she starts. Good news, fires right up, as it should, because it's a cat, and not the lazy one at home. That bracket looks super loose. Good God. Take a step. Broke it. But low does not mean out. Drive this beast. All right, break off hydraulics up because we don't want to try to drag our ass on the ground. We're in reverse. off here. Use a oh, very clean. I need a heavier wire brush. And maybe a light for you guys to see. And me. I mean, I want to see too. Curious what I'm doing. I want to learn too, boss. Pull that up in the manual and find out. So let's just start with the easy one. We'll start with uh, D. Because that's what she always likes to start with. The D. I believe this is eighth pipe. It is.
and usually transmissions will flow up into the mid hundreds. I have a gauge that goes up to 100, and then I have one that goes higher than that. So anyways, come around this side. You can see I am plumbed in there into my gauge. Okay, I'm plumbed into the S port now. So I've got, uh, I guess that's pressure at the stator, my guess is. That doesn't really do much, so we're looking at 45 PSI. Good. All right, let's go in that last port and then we'll look at what all those mean. Okay, so this is uh, that last port that I'm not sure what it is. Now we gotta go see what those things mean. I learned some things here. Uh, for one, there is more test locations than I thought. Uh, back here, you've got your uh, um, torque converter, uh, pump inlet, and your main, which I actually have full main pressure within spec. So really what I'm missing here is, um, this is your direction, uh, a trap and uh, a speed trap so basically I am missing or very very low pressure on speed and or speed and direction uh, maybe it might be a wiring issue so I think what I'm gonna do is uh, check voltage to make sure that that is present um. on a bolt there because so that's grounded oh, oh, this is going to be more difficult than I thought alright I got to bring you back up here with me because you're not going to be able to see everything so I get battery volts on my forward Battery volts on my reverse. I have battery volts on my first. Regardless, let's turn it on. Yep. like a 
working better. Let's see if I'm moving because I might have touched something electrically and now it's working. Because it feels like it engages way harder. Nope. So that has to be an internal leakage because I have main pressure, I have uh, I have main pressure, I have torque converter, and it is very with speed, like it's supposed to. Here, I'll show you. So I'm right now in the torque converter. And that's within spec. That's within spec. Um, so yeah, quite literally, uh, and I have voltage. Um, and my forward and my reverse when selected and in my speed one uh, that really leaves a leak of some kind let me go ahead and read the book some more alrighty we're done for today uh, what I found out is uh, my hoop oh, there we go my my main and my torque converter main and torque converter those meet spec pressure. My direction and speed are only making 30 PSI. And then my accumulator does build pressure within spec. However, if you uh, step on the inching or remove the, the inching spool in here, it drops the pressure and it has a hard time running back up. So I took the accumulator back out, looked at it, and nothing's out of place. So that means that the main pressure is being made here. It gets pushed up into the uh, accumulator side. This makes its accumulated pressure uh, first, and it does fine, but the first time you throw it into gear or you use the inching pedal to dump the pressure, it can't build back up because this runs like a pilot pressure. And uh, the entire time, even though these are supposed to be on pilot, uh, when you put them into gear, they only make 30 PSI, and that's because it's leaking internally through probably one of the clutches. Uh, so yeah, anyways, gotta go talk to the customer about it. So, no fix today.